Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. Episode two. Yeah, first one was good. I did enjoy that. A lot of <laughs> vibes of the fir of the first show, Hill House. Yeah, same very music. very similar. Obviously, the same even act. the house the inside actors. was like a little similar. The the entrance. I said it during the reaction, but like, I as soon as she walked in, I'm like, I wonder if this is like a, like not the same set, but like because I'm sure they actually shot it at like, like a house, but. I wonder if they got something that looked similar to it because it just had that feel. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Obviously, yeah. Know? But plus, like, it's just a you're in that mansion. Mode. Like, right? How much different can they really be? Like, I like the first house, like from Hill. Like, I liked Hill House, but this place is just well. That's because that when they were fixing up, this is like already done. Yeah, it's a little old though, still. Yeah, but it's clean. I guess. Nice. Yeah. It's bothering me that I can't remember the housekeep, like the groundskeeper's name from the Hill House. Because we said it so often, and we were so wrong about them. <laughs> yeah, we thought they were dead. Yeah, we were convinced they were they dead. They died at the end. Of, uh, sorry. Well, if you've seen, if you're watching this, but that's not true. They're kind of different. I mean, you should have watched. You should have watched yeah. that first. Yeah, shame on you. I, don't, I take it back. I'm not sorry. Yeah. And it came out so long ago at this point. So. Yeah. The, I think Blind Manor even came I, out like three I, years I ago. I want to say like it started with an H, Howard, sir. You know, we're, we're going to remember it as soon as we stop recording. Yeah. Guaranteed. But yeah, I want to know, this one's called The Pupil. I want to know just more about the what's going on with the kids. We have our ideas, but I really do want to know what's going on with, I think Mrs. Gross is her name. Yeah. Because, and who made those footprints? Yeah. I'm assuming they're going to the lake, you know? Because it it's hard for us to see some of these dark scenes just because we have like the lights and shit. So like that's why if you see us going like this. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard. Even even when we do that, it's still hard. Sometimes we just don't. Like that scene where from the first one where that guy was like, I remember seeing something in the corner of the TV being like, is that is there something? Oh, like, when it was the lake lady, right? Is that what it was? I don't know. That's what I kind of assumed because um, the girl told her she was mad at her because she was trying to keep her hidden from the lake lady. Oh, and she took her out, yeah. So I don't know if that was that, if it was her or that was just like another thing in the house. Yeah, do you, it did seem to have like a pointy nose. Do you think the dolls like do actually keep them like at bay or something? I, I, I keeps them away from whatever, probably. I just wonder because like if the guy that she saw, the Luke actor, on the parapet, like if there was one when she went out there to check, Danny, she saw one in the pot, like the plants. So like, was that just keeping him there? Like, I don't get it, you know. No, I, no, I, yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know how that stuff works, right. you know? It's almost like a voodoo-type thing, but not really. You know what I mean? It's like a... This is, what, this is that... This, just like Hill House when I was editing those. Like, with this one, I'm, like it's like when I go to edit them, it's like I'm almost rewatching them in a way, so I pick up a lot, especially on the darker scenes. Um, but, like, it's the small stuff. Like, I'm trying to remember back when, she, when Danny first showed up and the girl was at the lake. She had one of the things there. Mm -hmm. And she also was that the, that wasn't the same one. No, I guess because no. she left it there, right? Yeah. She but she was that. singing, and when she was like, "Oh, where were you singing?" She was like, "I was like, what are you talking about?" Yeah. You know. So like. That was weird too. You know what I mean? Right. So something's up there too. So let's watch it. Let's do it. If you guys want to watch the next episode early, go check out our Patreon. We have that there as well as full length. I think somebody posted it in our Discord, like in the Hill House section a long time ago. But like, it was like the many, it was like a joke about, it was like a joke about uh, how the actress that plays Nell always has like this like miserable thing. Like, she does. <laughs> she does. Yeah. I just thought of it because I saw her picture in the intro here. Oh, that's what I meant to talk to you about at the end of the last one. Do you think that the guy with the bow tie was the same guy? It was just an older version of Not him? Not sure. It could have been. And do you think that actually, we don't know for sure. Do you think that is Danny in the future? It seems like it should be, right? If that, I mean, if that's what they're going to do with the show, like if that's Danny and like that's the, like if that was the same guy <laughs> playing an older version of himself and Danny ch turns into her, like that'd be insane. Why? Why would only one of them change people? No, it's different people. I'm saying it just looks like a... Oh, maybe. That was just a younger actor. She said it wasn't my story, though. Yeah, but she could just be saying she it. That's why I thought so, too. The housekeeper was no stranger to muddy footprints. 
A few times a year, it seems, she started her days with a mop. Always the same path. Yeah, like she's not surprised by this. Back again. Miles! Uh, Miles are just not that bit. Can I have that, please? They came up. It feels like these two are off on a midnight run, and Muggins here has left to mop up their mud. So maybe she doesn't know, Mrs. Gross. You know what I mean? She maybe just, she doesn't know off. what causes right. it, but she know, knows she that it orange. happens. Can I say and have a glass of orange juice with Owen, please? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not being cheeky or anything. It's just, <laughs> I quite hate the cellar. It's perfectly dreadful. <laughs> Not perfectly so splendid. Right. I'll just be a sec. Ugh. Of course it landed like that. Like, I never understood. You went down there for that. Grab like, it. You just go. get that and you run out of there. <laughs> The, the way you the proper way to go into a basement <laughs> especially if there's no lights I fucking one of those dolls is waking up you know. oh my god what's her name I hate that so much Miles Miles are you okay hmm This isn't going to go well. You know that. Yeah. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. And the herd rushed down the deep stope into the lake and were drowned there. That's intentionally red. There we have it. For us as viewers, I mean, not for him. Three slightly different accounts. Why was Matthew being so contrarian? What's contrarian? It means he was being a tit. <laughs> hey, 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 language, language, Overman. Final warning. A tit. Excellent question. See, evil exists. And we are tempted. But we're not compelled. So, yes, they did need his permission. As they need ours. Hmm. I'm here, as are the other members of the staff. So if you feel the need to talk, we'll listen. You're in none of this alone, is all I'm driving at. Thank you, sir. Seems like a good guy. Good father. Pretty now. Yeah. <laughs> Everything they say sounds sweet. I know. John 16, 22. It's nearly time. Shall we go down? <laughs> drive. Definitely gonna fall. Windbreak. Oh, because he heard about that other kid who's on the mend. Maybe he's gonna hurt himself so he doesn't have to be there anymore. Windbreak. Jesus. It's pretty dark. Why'd you jump? Just looking for the right key. What was that? Let me jump. I fell. I saw you jump. I fell. Yeah, well. If well. You, need you jumped. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Burks? Fight. Sling on to. Is that his buddy? Yeah. Are you okay? Can you breathe? Yes. Okay. We can jump. Okay, everybody, back to class. I can't tell if he's like trying to get kicked out on purpose or if it's something else that's going on. Yeah. Here. So you started. They're not coming back. I'm afraid not. That's not fair either. Mm. It isn't. Why did the bad ones get to come back? Mm. Not them. The ones he's been saying. I feel bad for this priest though because like. He's clearly trying to help him. We know it doesn't work out. So. 
Well, we don't know. If it... Well, he gets expelled now. Doesn't they kick him out? Oh, yeah. Eventually. But... And he, he said he's going to be taking him in under his wing, essentially. Like, extra care. What the? Is that the kid? What the fuck? That tells me that the obviously the bad ones are affecting him and making him do this stuff. I don't know that he did it. Maybe one of them did. No, I think they one of the had, demons. No, but I think they had him do it though. I know that, and I also know that together you I'm and I. Sorry, I didn't do worse. What? Cut off its head, spread out the insides, burn it. Yeah, he's got to be affected. <clears throat> Maybe not. Right. Get Master Wingrave's uncle on the telephone, please. Uh, he's seeing bad ghosts, and he's like now afraid of anything that dies. You know? Yeah. Because they just come back that dead. Only the bad, only the bad one comes back. An accident. A crime, a fight, and finally, an affront. Why he'd done any of these things, no one would understand. Yeah, what did that letter say? Only the letter That's probably why he got expelled. Arrived, forgotten in the dormitory. What do you mean? Whatever she said, I bet, is why he... To come back? Get expelled. Come on. Reminds me of Hill House, too, how they're giving us, like, backstories each episode. Like, I'm assuming that's what it's going to be like. I think we got this kid's backstory. We'll get hers eventually, too. Finished. Why don't you come teach your sister how to do it? She'll think it's just splendid. <laughs> but just splendid. <laughs> what? Something's coming in. Yeah. It was like that, whatever that was in the Hill House. Oh, got the day off, it seems. Oh, thank God. You're a star. Hannah? Mm hmm? G&T? Oh, no, no, thank you. Not for me. Gin is a sad drink. No drinking, no eating. Seven. Are you close with me? Fine. Oh, maybe that's what she sees in the mirror. The glass on with the glasses. Because why did that just freak her out? I want to know about, like, what that is, you know? Like, why it freaks her out so much. I mean, besides the obvious. Back to it then. Chin up poppins. It didn't have anything to do with the kids though. No. Well, besides the girl finding the glasses, yeah. Now it's not there. It's in her glasses. Uh, where are you off to? No, that's what Mrs. Gross was looking at. I know, but that crack's gone and now there's a crack in her glasses. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh my god, that is so creepy. It's like a guy in like a full body suit with just the light up glasses. Reminds me of Pee, Pee Wee's Big Adventure when he puts the headlight glasses on. Yeah. Can't figure that out either. They always throw this shit at you that you don't make sense, can't make sense of. I'd like to apologize. All of it. But most importantly, for being such a child about it. Being around Flora, I sometimes forget myself. 
Somebody t- uh, he, he's not, he's Is not he like getting possessed? Same. That's what I think. I think Flora just misses Miss Jessel terribly. So we play little games to keep her from feeling sad. Mm. It's such a draining thing. Dealing with children. <laughs> yeah, it's like an older person in this kid's body. That's why he was like dawning to the, yeah. to the lady. Yeah. One hundred percent. Are you right? Well, you're fine. I just uh, well, I haven't been sleeping very well. I think I'll turn in for the night. Okay. Good night, darling. Good night. Good night. <laughs> what is up with you, lady? All right, you two line up. Good night, darling. <laughs> Maybe she's got something to do with it. Hide and seek. Okay, hide and seek, sure. Hide and seek in a haunted place never goes well. Please. It's also a big house to play hide and seek in. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight. Why are all the lights out again? Six, Always. Five, four. Oh, nothing happens to her. Could have hit a little better than that. <laughs> Thought she was gonna go into it. Every time when my niece was younger, like she didn't really know how to play hide and seek that well. And she would go and hide and be like, huh, where is she? And she'd be like, over here. <laughs> Kids. Oh, mm. God, what was that? Don't go that way. She's looking for the kids. I know. <laughs> I'm talking from our point of view. There's some of, one of those boxes in Hill House, too. It's because music boxes are creepy. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Did you see that? Yeah, something moving behind her. Yeah, and singing with her. Oh my god. I don't know what's creepier, the thing or the fact that she just casually brushed it off. Jesus, Miles. Got you. I'm supposed to be looking for you, and this wing I'm is going all. I'm to stop counting. It'll be your time to run and hide. I'll find you. Ease up. Oh, this is the one I was choking Ease the kid. Up. Yeah, they're definitely like. Him specifically is getting possessed. Oh my God, it's him. Do you imagine? Ah. Yeah, I was thinking he's gonna come like through the glass. No, I'm saying I like, would not break it. the glass, but nope, just vanish. That would make me really freak out. Cause then it's right before your eyes. Yep. She's pretty brave. She said that. Yes, yeah, she did. What did he say? I don't feel so good. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. He's away. Oh, my God. He's away. Cut it out, Luke. He's away. At the end? I think so. Damn, that was a short one. <sighs> that was good, though. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I have the same feeling I had when we watched Hill House, like, in terms of, like, every episode gives me more questions while answering them at the same time. What which I always really like, usually. Like, who these people are? Yeah, like they gave us a little bit of more info on the on the son. What's his name again? Flora, Mrs. Gross, Danny. 
I say like Hargrave or Wargrave or War- no, that's his last name though, uh, right? Um, <laughs> but regardless, like they gave us a, a decent amount. Like I'm pretty sure like he's being. I was confused when he was at the school, like what was going on specifically. But like once they like had that scene with him saying darling twice to both women and then like just giving her flowers and it, he's definitely being possessed or I think taken so. But at over. the school I think he did that to get expelled. I don't think so. You don't think so? I think he was being possessed. Maybe not kill the bird, but I guess what would he try Yeah, maybe. Out? Well, know. it was to the same point. It was what I initially said because I, I might actually agree with you on that part because he broke he purposely jumped off because he wanted to get himself hurt because he heard the other kid got to be away because he was on the mend from being hurt and then he was just everything after that was just him trying to get him but then but again the why headlock. would he keep saying I was looking for your key yeah what was that about I don't know because then he was also the headlock was very similar too when he was headlocking his friend and yeah. then he was headlocking her at the same time yeah maybe he is maybe it was it is a combination of the two. It's got to be, yeah. Maybe he wanted to get expelled and, like, he's able to <laughs> allow the position. Like he said, we can't be compelled, so they need his permission to take over his body. Jesus with the pigs, my friend. Yeah. That's another thing I'm excited to go back and watch, like, on the edit, because... That's why he asked. That's why he asked if they need permission. What do you mean? To take over the man. Yes, yeah. There's a lot of connections in that scene over. is what I was going to get to, yeah. Like the passage he read from the Bible plus what you just said there. Yeah. And now I'm not sure about that guy. It might be the dad. Because, yeah, he's looking at himself as like, oh, I'm the innocent. and so they're But they're allowed to just come in and take me over, you know? Like he's the pig in the story. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that I think that's what you're trying no, to No, they were for because they remember they took over the pig, but he was like, um, did they need permission? And he was like, Yes, and then he was like, What about for the man? Because I think he had they had first taken over a man and then Jesus like sent them to a pig or something like that. Who knows? Oh, he sent them to the pigs because of what they did. Is that kind yeah, of who knows? Yeah, I, that's what I mean. I have to go back and rewatch that kind of stuff yeah. to pick up on but that. Still. Because that whole did, that whole scene had a lot of as soon as he was reading from the Bible, like, I bet you in my head, I was like, I bet you this is going to be yeah. like, related to it in some some way. Yeah, the demons he was could a, take over man. Yeah, that right. That was the whole question, if they needed permission or not. Right. And the priest was just like, well, technically, yes, they do. They need your permission. Yeah, just the fact that they're even talking. He's definitely getting possessed and taken over. Something, yeah. Something wild's happening. And I don't think it's the same story for Flora, though. Because we saw like, she hasn't acted like odd, like I mean, she has acted odd, but hasn't like changed personality no. drastically like he has. But she sees him obviously and isn't afraid of him at all. That like, was ridiculous, she, she, and it did shush. Yeah, I don't know what's creepy. Like I said, I don't know what's creepier, that thing or yeah, there's a lot of creepy things because it's all three of those things, and even um, Danny's like fucking weird ghost and the glasses and stuff. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out because, like, I don't want to go, like, give huge spoilers for ending it all just in case somebody hasn't seen it. But, like, if, like, the way, like, we thought, like, because, I mean, obviously there's ghosts in that show, too, like, that are haunting the place. But it has more, it was, like, more to do with, like, whatever that, see, I don't want to say any spoiler. All right. If you don't want to hear spoilers, skip ahead. Um... And I'll say something when it comes, or I'll wave my hands when I'm done. Um, or I'll put something up in the video. But, like, like the whole thing with Hill House was, like, that there was the room that whatever that, I don't want to call it a parasite, but it kind of was, like, was taking over the house from that room. But it was, like, I'm kind of just, like, skimming, glossing over a lot of it. But, like, it was, the ghosts weren't, like, necessarily, like, possessing any of them or right no nothing like that you know as where well, the this, mom did a little bit but but everything when that show was caused by whatever was in that room right maybe but that which was like a spirit though i feel whatever like that fungus or was but, but like, then like that would disappear i think that that was like the spirit 
I don't know. Whatever. But well, you know what I mean, though. We're kind of comparing these. We don't want to compare. But no, I'm, no, I'm saying, different. compared to this, though, like, as where this seems like there was no possession necessarily in that. As, like, not like this, where it's like something's really taking him over. And, like, is it that guy that we, like, the Luke actor we did, was that him implying that was him who took over him? Like, for saying darling and I giving think her it's flowers? Glass. Oh, gross. Really? She's refer she's the only one in the show referring to anybody as darling. She disappears and then weird things happen and then she pops back up when it's all when it's done. She doesn't eat, she doesn't drink. I don't trust her. I feel like this is I want to agree with you because it makes sense, but it also feels yeah, like this the is same a wild si theory. Like, but it, no, but it feels like the same situation as the housekeeper. Yeah, <laughs> like we're so like convinced that it's like it could be. Well, she's the weirdest one. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Until I'm shown otherwise. <laughs> right. I just hope we land it this time because we really did not land it last I know, time. Yeah, we were very far off. Um. But yeah, like something's definitely up with her because she's the not eating, the not drinking. The being very vague about everything she says. Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> oh, and what you said, I, I under I get now what you were saying. Like in the future, could the older the version be the gardener? And then, because I'm pretty convinced that that guy with the bow tie from the very beginning yeah. is that same guy. Because he had a mustache too. Not the same actor. I mean, the I same know. supposed to be the same character. Maybe, yeah. Oh, it would be. And it would make it could it make sense. Wouldn't be super unusual, like if it was. And it would make more sense why she has a British accent. She didn't just pick it up from being there, you know. Right. And then, like, also, like those two were able to get out, like, because they don't seem like they know what's really going on. Because I don't think the gardener lives there, right? It doesn't seem like it. No, right. But maybe he did at one point. That's why he said he didn't like Bly. No, not him. I'm saying the gardener. Oh yeah, no, I don't know. She might. I'm not sure. Because in the two of them, if they don't live there, they don't really know what's oh, going no, on. Oh, no. The, the uncle said there's like a couple things that live in the, in town. They don't live. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. They don't live at the manor, right? No. So then like that would make sense then in the future that they like they eventually witness what happens. But and like they know the actual story, but they weren't like privy to it here, at least. So look at me using privy because I'm hearing so much British. <laughs> I never use that word. Dark. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're rubbing off on me. Uh, but yeah, like that guy that I could see that being the case. Because it never usually goes well for like the main main character. Yeah. Like not that there was one in Hill House because they all were, but like I feel like Nell kind of was in the in Hill House, but like in yeah. this, like Danny is that seems to be like the the actual like at least from her point of view we're seeing the story. Oh definitely, yeah. Her and then the kids. Right, exactly. Yeah. So then like, I could see that being like, that usually doesn't go well for that, like for, for that her, main character. Definitely yeah. not. Or the kids. I've been thinking that the whole time. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like, she's going to be dead by the end of the show. Because <laughs> it was so like, I didn't, like I knew the end of Hill House was going to be dark, but I also didn't think, think it was going to be that crazy, dark, yeah. you know? And like, this is like, and it's with kids, so it's like you don't expect it to be as dark as it is. Yeah. It always ends up being that way. It will way. be. I know. God damn it. <laughs> I like it, though. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.